the, it does. It, but, um, you know, so many of the classical scholars that are out there right now are doing really compelling work, you know, but so much of it centers in language. You know, there's a lot of scholarship in the classics that are about language, and rightfully so. You know, we're, we're peace, it's the, for them, that's their own, it's a treasure hunt of words, you know, and that's nothing wrong with that. Um, but like any medium, um, I think that we as classicists do need to think about how we present our material. You know, how brilliant scholarship that is happening is not always is not always enough if the goal is is going to be to communicate your ideas to a large um, audience. I, 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 I think that sometimes we get locked up in our ivory towers and think, you know, because we're doing such great work that that's enough. And I think you only have to look at, um, you know, the political landscape that we happen to live in to know that doing the right thing and being good at what you do is not enough. It is a show. If everything is a show and uh, your ability to put on a good show is just as important as, as the content of the show in which you are creating. So I think we're really great in the content department. I think there's, I think, brilliant scholars all over the country and the world doing incredible, cutting edge, brilliant things. And I think um, it's the responsibility of people like me and, and them as well to um, create collaborations and partnerships across disciplines to be able to present that incredible scholarship in a way that is compelling to not just 15 to 20 people in a conference room in a hotel, but a mass of people. But. That's okay, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, the beautiful thing, I really felt, you know, I go back to it again and again because I, the family that I found at Binghamton University with Randy Schultz and John Starks, I, I love them because they, they let me exist as a human being inside this department that was like, you know what, Greek's really not your thing, you know, but you do have this really interesting faculty on these people and their lives and understand their understanding their behavior and so let's let's help you shine there finding teachers that love you is it's like finding second parents and that you know some of the most important relationships that i have are with those professors